Sarah from Average Betty here, and I'm making red velvet cupcakes. Red velvet is clearly the celebutant of cupcakes. Most cupcakes would settle for being either red or velvet, but red velvets are narcissists. They need to be both. There is cocoa powder in red velvet, but don't dare call this chocolate cake. They can be very sensitive. You need to be careful handling this red velvet batter. The red food coloring will stain your hands, clothes, and your mouth. So if you're a beater licker, everyone will know. And you beater lickers know who you are. So let's get started. First, we're gonna make the batter. In a bowl, combine flour, brown sugar, white sugar, salt, baking soda, baking powder, and cocoa powder. Use a whisk to remove any lumps and combine the dry ingredients thoroughly. Red Velvet Folklore says that only hand mixers should be used because stand mixers can bruise the delicate batter. But if you don't go all spinal tap and turn your mixer up to 11, you should be fine. Beat eggs and slowly stream in oil until the mixture is emulsified like this. Before you write to me asking if you can use butter, I just want you to know, even Paula Dean doesn't use butter in her red velvet cake. Authentic red velvet cake uses oil, not butter. Add vanilla, white vinegar, and the magical red food coloring. When that's good and combined, and really, really red, begin adding the dry ingredients. The batter gets thick, just keep mixing on low. With the mixer running, Stream the buttermilk into the batter slowly. And there you have it, red velvet cake batter. This batter works just as well for cupcakes as it does for layer cakes. You can make two eight inch layer cakes or 24 cupcakes with this recipe. For cupcakes, I use paper cups. And we'll pop these in the oven, remove from the oven, and allow to cool completely. While the cakes are cooling, we're gonna make the frosting. In the mixer, combine cream cheese and butter. Begin adding powdered sugar, then add vanilla and cream. Continue adding powdered sugar, and if you're dying to crank the mixer up to 11, now's your chance. Better give that a taste. Mmm. When the cupcakes are completely cooled, use a butter knife to swirl the frosting on top of each cake. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Red Velvet Cupcakes. Get the Red Velvet recipe at averagebetty.com. See you next time. Mmm, red velvet cupcakes.